that is like a miracle in itself. I don't really believe that. Ugh, why am I crying? <laughs> Hey guys, how to be happy. Uh, steps I take to be happy in my day and in my life. Um, these are just things that have helped me personally. I know I'm not the only one that goes through hard times, ups and downs. Uh, that's just human nature. That's what happens to human beings. <laughs> they have good days and they have bad days. And you know, whether someone says that they're having a bad day or a good day, it's still happening. So somebody might look like they never have a bad day and it's just because they're not saying it out loud. So um, for the last like month, I feel like I've been depressed. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably just been more so the weather. It's been very cloudy, rainy and gloomy and literally feels like it's six o'clock in the winter time every single day all all day long so that doesn't help plus i'm at home working um and so i don't want to work doesn't make me want to like it's not motivating to like seize the day and get my work done but do it anyway i don't want to go work out because it's freezing cold and i just want to be in my pajamas so i've just been feeling a little down and when i'm like that i I'm having a hard time filming when I'm like that too. So, you know, and I try to be positive and happy. I'm not trying to film this gloomy down video. There's a time and a place for everything, but um, I didn't really see the point in doing that. So um, during the last four weeks-ish, uh, I've been really trying to figure out what my next step is in life. I'm trying to pray a lot and just figure it out. Some things that help me stay happy especially in the winter time when it gets rough um number one of course is my higher power you may have a higher power you may not have a higher power that's fine i don't care <laughs> just here to share my experiences with you i am a very spiritual person i believe in god i believe in jesus I just believe in living every single day as it comes. And I have no idea what tomorrow is gonna hold. I just let the spirit guide me. I am not a religious person. I despise religion, I don't like it. So if you don't know the difference between religion and um, being a Christian, uh, Google it. I'm not going to talk about it right now. <laughs> but anyway, having a higher power or um, just meditating or prayer or journaling, if you have a journal, and reading something that motivates you, something that is uplifting to you and makes you excited about the day. Those are some ideas for you guys. Um, depending on who you are and where you are in your life. So that was number one. Number two, I have said this before, uh, is what's your why in your day? You know, have goals. So I guess that would be another thing. <laughs> but you know, what, what are your, what's your why for that day? What is your goal for that day? Um, what's your goal for the week? And what's your long-term goal? Do you have any? And if you don't, that's fine. I didn't have my reason for even being alive for so long. I struggled with that. I just felt like I had no purpose. Um, I still struggle with that sometimes. Uh, I've been really trying to focus on what my why is, what my goals are, really finding what really makes me excited and happy. And that's really hard to figure out personally for me. It has taken me so long to figure that out and I might not even have it figured out yet, but I think I do. But I am just so excited about my why and my purpose and my goals because I never had that anymore. I was never allowed to dream. I was never told I could dream. You can go for that stuff that you feel like you might want. For a long time, I have not wanted 
the things that I'm really good at. You know, I have done online training in the past. I stopped doing the online training. I just didn't want to do it anymore. I'm a very, very quiet person. I don't like letting people in very much. I don't uh, have too many friends. And so it's really weird that I would actually start a YouTube channel because I'm such a private person. And so I know because that's been hard for me to do. I know that's not even of me. <laughs> that is like a miracle in itself. So I know that my purpose is to um, share things that I've been through with people. By God's grace, I'm still living. I should be dead a million times from the past that I've been through. Been through some pretty crazy things that would make your jaw drop to the floor. <laughs> probably wouldn't even believe me if I told you. I've actually really had so much clarity this last like month with my why. So um, I have a lot of really awesome goals. I'm working, I've been working on some amazing stuff, putting, trying to put myself into it and work on it. And I'm excited about it. And it's not something that I wanted to do or really thought I wanted to do. I really just wanted to like stop YouTube, stop social media, go live on a farm, have some animals, and just be by myself. But then I can't share with you guys like everything I've been through and like make a difference maybe in someone's life. You know, like why, why have I been through all these crazy things and I'm still here, right? I'm excited about that. I'm not gonna talk much about it right now because I will tell you guys later because I'm st still in the works. It is what I'm really good at, so I'm just gonna take that gift that God gave me and run with it and <laughs> do what he says. The third thing that I have practiced to stay happy in my day and in my life is my food choices, of course. So this has been just a struggle in itself with me as well. I've done like every diet on the planet, um, anywhere from keto to um, raw food to macrobiotic to pescatarian, vegan, vegetarian, whatever. It's just been my own food journey. I have found what makes me feel good and I've had to have a lot of healing through food because of how I treated my body when I was in high school. I was not very nice to my body so I had a lot of trauma from the inside to fix, to the inside out to fix. My gut was just destroyed and I'm still working on making my body healthier as time goes on. It's just a lifelong thing I'm gonna be doing. Making sure that I don't eat anything I have intolerances to or that I have allergies to because those things actually can make you tired, cranky, angry, depressed. Some things that I'm allergic to, if I eat them, I get really moody. I will fall asleep or I'll get like hives and it's just, it messes with your body more than you know. So. Making sure that I'm eating a healthy diet for me so that I can stay my happy, upbeat self as much as possible. Uh, number four is exercise. Exercise is so important because um, first, heart health. You wanna make sure that you're getting at least 20 minutes five days a week. Um, if you are sedentary, at least just try to walk. You know, get, get your heart pumping. It's a muscle too. Give it some love. <laughs> Um, but for me personally, I love exercise. It's so much fun. I just get those endorphins going and I'm just like, I just love it. It's changed my life. I have been able to change my body a lot and realize that you can kind of adjust your food and exercise to what your goals are in life, which is amazing. And growing up in high school, I definitely thought that lifting weights was going to make me like super bulky and I never dreamt that I would actually look like those girls in the magazines because that's what I wanted to look like when I was younger, you know. Of course, they put the girl in the magazine that you know lifts five days a week, super heavy and eats a lot of food and then they put this ab workout and cardio routine, you know, and you're like, oh, that's what I have to do not eat and do a bunch of cardio. My point is, is that exercise has changed my life. It's been very good. Um, I've learned a lot from it. Exercise has been a really good thing for me to stay happy. Number five, well, I guess I probably should have put this number two. <laughs> Eric, he has been such 
a rock for me in my life. We have just been able to grow so much closer to each other. Um, you know, having that significant other, that person in your life that motivates you and can speak into your life positively and supports you and where you can communicate and acknowledge each other. We don't always agree on everything, but we know how to navigate around that. Agree to disagree. We have been through so much in the last 12 years that you know our relationship in the beginning was nothing but craziness so it wasn't like a fairy tale at all but it's only gotten better he knows every little itty bitty detail about me and we have overcome some crazy things together we're still here and we shouldn't be still. i mean we shouldn't be you know that's another story having someone in your life that supports you and what you're doing and not speaking down on you not abusing you emotionally physically mentally financially in any way possible there's like eight different types of abuse i went through this course on that um i'm drawing a blank right now emotionally mentally physically financially spiritually and there's two more, I think, I can't remember. I'll get back to that. Um, we should all really love each other and support each other, regardless of who we are, regardless of what we believe and what we're doing. And my animals. My animals make me so happy every day. I love my two cats. They are cuddly and they purr and they make me feel happy and calm. Charlie, of course, my pig. <laughs> he is the cutest little thing ever. He has definitely been challenging myself and Eric with our communication and just, oh, everything. Um, pigs are very much like a three-year-old and they are very smart. So that's been a huge challenge for us this last couple of months, but we've been doing pretty good, I think, as pig parents. Every time I see him come down the stairs in the morning, trying to slide down the stairs, <laughs> uh, he warms my heart. He's just always talking, and animals just really make me happy, and I'm sure that a lot of people can agree with me on that. If you have an animal, you can imagine living without them, even with their little accidents they might have or frustrations that they might bring upon your day. They're still just such a joy. So animals are just absolutely amazing. Some other things that have made me happy and have helped me be happier is being able to talk to someone, having a therapist or someone that you trust, someone that you can say, hey, I'm gonna tell you the things that I've been struggling with in my life and when I'm gonna struggle, I'm gonna tell you, please help me through it. You know, having that safe person to be able to, you know, confide in whether it's a friend, a therapist, I would recommend it be maybe somebody that's not your husband because, <laughs> or your, or your girlfriend, because sometimes, you know, um, with Eric and I, you know, he wants to tell me what I want to hear, I feel like, and then I have to tell him, no, tell me what you really think. <laughs> I've been to a lot of therapy in my life. It's only helped me be stronger. Having friends, of course, that, support you and that are honest with you and that are not surface friends. Like I am not interested in having a surface friend. My friends, you know, that I have here where I live, uh, I tell them like, you know, I want a deeper relationship. I want to be able to tell you how I'm feeling and I don't want you to take it the wrong way. And you know, like being able to talk to each other and like respect each other and your opinions, that is good. That is a friend. Somebody that is going to let you do something that is going to hurt you is not a good friend. So even if it may hurt when somebody says, well, I don't think that's a good idea, or if they say something that you don't wanna hear, that may hurt too. But to be honest, like that is probably what you do wanna hear because they love you. So people that love you tell you the truth. People that don't love you will lie to your face. Establish that in the beginning of the relationship not like the day you meet them, but <laughs> slowly. <laughs> you don't wanna scare them away. Through all of these things that I've mentioned, uh, everything has really shaped who I am 
and has helped me grow so, so much. And I'm still growing and I still go through really hard times. Sometimes, you know, I have a really bad week and yeah, I don't want to talk to anybody. And it's really hard to get out of that sometimes, more so in the winter, like I said, because it's, you know, you're not getting that vitamin D from the sun, but um, and in that, you feel like you lose your confidence. You feel like, you know, what's my purpose in life and what am I doing and oh my gosh, and all these horrible things come into your head and it's like, or my head anyway, and it's like, that's, that's not real. That is just like a situational thing. So in, when in that happens to me, I just really have to pray really hard and I, and I know that those things are not true. I think that for me personally, uh, the enemy likes to like tell you really bad things and make you feel really bad in your life sometimes or lie to you and you know when you're thinking you're not pretty good enough or so and so is mad at me it's probably not even about you <laughs> they're probably dealing with their own stuff but there's so many things in life that can bring you down and really like wreck your day <laughs> not make you happy and I just have really learned that it's it's important to be honest with yourself number one and number two honest with other people if you're feeling like this nip it in the butt right away if it's with a with a friend or something like that um or if it's with yourself and you're feeling ugly or too skinny or too fat or i ate too much of this or i didn't eat enough of that or whatever the case may be let it go let's just start new right now that negativity in my mind that's not right that's not real that's a lie learning how to figure out the lies and the truths in your mind is mentally going to help you be more happy and healthy in your life and you have to learn to do that because before you can be physically healthy and happy and love who you see in the mirror you have to be mentally healthy you have to know your worth you are worth it you are loved you are awesome you have got this it's gonna take some time guess what that's everyone and like i said if someone doesn't say if someone says that they have it all together call them back if someone says that they have it all together and their life is perfect and they couldn't do any better, then I don't really believe that because I think that we all need to press forward every day to, to be a better version of ourselves every single day in everything that we do. I'm worth that. Like I look in the mirror, I look in the mirror every day and I say, you are worth that. Like you have been through so much in your soul. Oh, why am I crying? <laughs> You've been through so much in your life you have so much to offer. You're gonna do it. You are not gonna listen to the ne negativity. Just focus on yourself. And me focusing on myself, I'm able to be a better version of myself every single day so that I can share with you guys truly what makes me so happy and joyful every single day is when I touch someone's life, when I touch someone's heart, when someone says to me, thank you for sharing that, thank you for opening up because I struggled with this or that, and um, or just simply thank you for telling me about that nutritional tip because it helped me in my life. Um, I literally get so choked up when I hear that because it just makes me so happy. So that is what makes me happy <laughs> and i hope that those tips help you as well i'm getting really emotional it's something about me i am an emotional person and uh but i embrace it because i used to not be an emotional person i used to be a very numb sad person with no emotion so See, growth right there. Oh, I mean, I wanna know what makes you happy. What are some things in your uh, that you've learned in your life or um, things that you do in your day that make you happy? Um, comment below, I'd love to hear it.
So I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a fantastic day and uh, remember that you are worth being happy and you are worth having joy and peace in your life. You have to claim it, say it out loud and take it. And now go take on the day. Why? Because you can. <laughs> All right, bye guys.